If I say Hollywood in the 1960s, you might think of Marilyn Monroe or Kirk Douglas. But in reality, true power in LA's movie industry was off screen. It laid in the hands of none other than the Mafia, more specifically one man known as The Fixer. Very few people know the name Sidney Korshak. The Chicago-born lawyer was the outfit's legal counsel, not only consorting with mobsters like Sam Giacana and Johnny Roselli, but also with labor leaders like Ronald Reagan. It was a phone call from Korshak that enabled Al Pacino to play Michael Corleone when he was contractually obligated to another film. And it was he who revived Frank Sinatra's acting career when it was on the brink of dying, earning him an Oscar afterwards. It was safe to say he was the most powerful man in Hollywood, and his influence extended far beyond that too. He was one of Al Capone's top consigliaries. He was labeled the most important contact that the mob had to legitimate business, labor, Hollywood, and Las Vegas. And until the day he died in 1996, no one was ever able to indict him. For the full story of the man who dominated all of Hollywood, click the link in the comments.